topic is going to be three ways on how to transform your health. The first step to transform your health is to eat nutritiously, and that means eat more nutrient-dense foods. And this is going to include leafy greens, more vegetables than any other area on your plate, and this is going to include different vitamins and supplements, as well as just uh, healthy fats like avocados, coconut oils, etc. Just make sure you have variety of color as well as variety of vegetables in your meals and that you have less processed foods as well as less fatty foods, less greasy foods and make sure you have less sugary foods because sugar as well as dairy increase inflammation and you don't want that. And one of the other tips is to reduce inflammation and by eating healthy and watching what you eat and researching on what types of foods are best for your body and your own health, that will reduce the inflammation. The better you eat, the better you will feel. And that is the whole point. And if you learn more about nutrition and diet and what you need to eat daily for your own body and your own needs, that's what will help you be able to have the correct weight that you want that will be able to help you reduce inflammation and be able to fight off disease and viruses and infections because you'll be boosting your immune system if you eat correctly and this means eating correctly means not having sugary foods not having processed foods not having like fatty bad fat foods as well as like greasy foods you want to be able to have more vegetables on your plate you want to have a variety of colors of vegetables purples greens yellows oranges because each vegetable has different nutrients uh, that you will need to be able to boost your immune system and be able to increase uh, the ability that your organs will be able to function better and basically having variety and eating the rainbow really is <laughs> necessary to keep the doctor away. It's not just one apple a day, it's an apple, berries, some spinach, some kale, some cucumber, some broccoli, some cauliflower, etc. <laughs> So the second tip to transform your health is work on your stress management. And it is so simple to work on your stress management. The first thing, the first idea that you could do is just go out for a nature walk when you're feeling stressed. Like I've been doing schoolwork all day long and I need a break from the screen. And in order to do that, I'm just going out and getting fresh air and sunshine and smelling the trees and the greens. And it helps reduce so much stress and be able to refocus me and my attention as well. Other ways that you can reduce your stress include yoga, breath work. Breath work is so healing. Uh, being able to get on a regular sleep pattern schedule that I'm still working on, <laughs> but being able to sleep consistently and on a schedule really helps your circadian rhythm and your body to be able to function better. When you are functioning better, your immune system functions better, and your body's able to fight off things. And so having a really consistent sleep schedule, being able to have yoga, stretching, movement daily, being in nature daily, having breath work, that helps bring more oxygen to your cells, which in turn helps bring healing to your body, and even emotional management will help reduce stress. And that you can do through journaling, through therapy, through singing, through art, through anything, just any way that you can reduce stress by taking yourself out of work mind and school mind and serious mind and just be able to just sit in peace and sit in creativity and sit in joy and sit in something that will make you feel good about life and feel positive, that is what will help reduce your stress, is just taking yourself outside of your schedule and implementing uh, throughout the day little things that will bring joy to your soul. The third way to transform your health is by having a community and socializing, which <laughs> It's kind of funny because I'm such an introvert, but I have my community of people that I like to talk to daily that either I talk on the phone, I FaceTime, I video chat, or I text, and I make sure I always talk to either family members or friends daily just so I can check in on them and see how they're doing and see what they need, um, and then also just being able to help me feel good too, being able to build those connections and relationships and be able to deepen 
that connection between us so that we can build a better friendship, build a better relationship, build a better family relationship. Like that in itself, one, helps reduce stress uh, for the prior point, and two, it also helps just bring healing to your body and your mind and your soul. And being able to connect more with other people consistently is really something that we humans need. Like we were designed to have socialization and being isolated or withdrawn or held up in the house all the time is just so unhealthy for our minds. We need to have people and in interaction that is very healthy for us to be able to interact with others and connect to others. What is that? Oh my gosh, I thought that was I thought that that was like an animal peeking out, but it's just like a hole. Then I thought it was a butterfly, but no, it's just a hole. <laughs> Anyways, I hope these three tips helped on being able to transform your health in many different ways and be able to really just transform the way you live and approach life because I think it will really help heal your mind, body, and spirit. If you have any questions, just like, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll be happy to comment back and talk to you and start a conversation. But until then, I'm going to finish my walk and enjoy nature before I have to go back to the computer screen. <laughs>